Okay, let's throw out some algebra. Let's just do one step, okay? I'll do, I'm gonna do four one-step equations. So here's example one. Example two, we'll, we'll scoot over here. Example three will be down here. And example four. Okay, so let's start here. I'm gonna use black now. Because I can. Let's start here. <clears throat> so where's our number, our variable rather? We want to know what this is. Something plus four is nine. Now, the reality is I've got nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Something plus four is nine. Well, what was the something? Five. One, two, three, four, five, right? We don't need algebra for that. But, but, mm, we're not just simply problem solving this. We're practicing the method so we can do complicated things. Okay, that's it's it's like when when if, if someone says, "Well, oh, I can dribble standing here with my right hand," that's awesome. But when someone's coming at you trying to steal the ball from you, can you switch it to your left and go behind the back and dribble around and be able to pass it off to your teammate or shoot with the wrong hand? Like, come on, that's a single skill in the larger idea. All right, okay, so we are gonna call this. I'm stealing this from a student who told me from a different teacher. I have no idea where it came up with the balance line. All right. You can do this however you want. I have found the easiest way to make equations clear to the reader, which would be a teacher in this instance, or uh, as you get up in math, a colleague, right? <clears throat> as you work down and you keep the equal sign literally over itself the whole time so we can see what's going on, right? So we have... Our variable plus four. So how do we invert four or invert addition? Subtract it. So we subtract four. Now you'll notice even here negative four is equal to negative four. That's the whole point. So this thing started equal. These operations on both sides are equal. And so then what you get going down remains equal. Well over here you have n. Four minus four becomes the identity zero, the identity under addition, zero, so we don't write it, equals nine minus four is five. That's the whole point. And we're getting a little glare. N equals five. If I turn this off, yeah, it's too dark. <laughs> Lighting problems, right? So <clears throat> just be clear in your presentation also, okay? You are making an argument. Let's go to example two. And maybe I'll do my, uh, my lean, my leaning idea. Don't miss me too much. Can we even see it? I don't know. Um, well, here's our balance line, right? The inverse of subtraction is addition. We need to add eight, right? On this side, eight minus eight, or negative eight plus eight is the identity. So it's zero. We don't write that though. N equals three plus eight. We can use the number line if we need to. 11, okay? How are we feeling about that one? The last one was gonna be hard to do. The last, what, problem number four. <clears throat> Does that make sense? What is happening? What is happening right there? If I don't have anything written, again, there's a lot of implications in math. If there's nothing written in terms of an operation and you have a number butted up against a letter, what operation is that? Okay, these are implicit things you need to know. This is multiplication. The inverse of multiplication is division, right? So we are going to, let's not, oh, don't forget our balance line. Divide by three. Remember, this is division. Fractions are implicit division. Divide by three, okay? Now, visually, you might go, what the what? Because you can take these both simply. Remember, we took we had a lesson, I believe, right, on simplifying fractions. I hope I uploaded that. Maybe I didn't. I'll have to upload it later. So many things to keep track of. 3 over 3 is 1. <clears throat> that is the identity un under multiplication. We don't usually write it. We just end up with our W over here. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay? Now... If for some reason 12 didn't divide into 3 evenly, you can leave it that way. 
because 12 over 3, these fractions, they're numbers. They're not integers, right? What number set do they belong to? You remember? They're rational. They're ratios. W is 4. I wrote that for me. All right, let's look at our last one in the corner. Bye. <clears throat> what operation is this? It's division, right? So the inverse of division is multiplication. Now, it gets a little weird. <clears throat> I feel like getting rid of this for a second. But because I've been trying to show you how to work down, and you still are working down, but it's it's easier to see, actually, if you just put the multiplication right next to it. Because this is like 5 over 1. And those cancel. Anything over itself is 1, which is what we want here. So you end up with x equals, and then 2 times 5 is 10. And then that's it. Okay? Done and done and done. <clears throat> I'm going to do some uh, multi-step examples 